Right, so this video shows you how to create a bespoke ringtone on your iPhone and to do that we would need the GarageBand app. So click on the GarageBand app, it takes you to audio recorder and what you need to do is to click on the audio recorder and it brings you to this layout. And so on the layout, click on the three horizontal rows and that turns into a microphone icon. So from here onwards, we're going to try to reduce the ringtone length. We're going to set that from automatic to manual and change it from eight bars to about 30. I think, you know, your ringtone should, should only be about 30 seconds. So we're going to change that to about 30. You don't want your ringtone to be lengthy. So from here onwards, we click on the loop sign just by the reduce sign and search for the um, ringtone that we want to modify. So or set as our new ringtone. In this case, I'll be selecting Wait For You by Future. So I'll be selecting that and modifying the ringtone. ringtone. You, you can modify the ringtone to, to start, you know, wherever you want it to start, you know, um, during the length of the song, you know, it's really up to you. you. You know, you get to choose anywhere you want the song to be within, the, you know, the 30 bar. You know, you can you can move as you wish because the length of the song is going to be great, greater than 30 bar anyway, so. You know, the, the song I'm looking for, I think, is at, you know, somewhere at the bottom. I think it's quite close to hypnotise somewhere. Yeah, I think it's not here. I think, yeah, it's somewhere down. So I'll select and wait for you. Yeah, which is just about there. And drag it onto the, the layout, you know, where you, where you put your audio arrangements or your song arrangements, you know, on the, on the layout. So I'll drag that onto the layout section you know, just underneath the microphone and I can adjust the length, you know, however I want. You know, this is the audio file for Wait For You or the audio MP3 file. So so you don't really need the metronome. So I could turn up the blue triangular um, metronome that's making that clicking sound. Um, and, and you see that needle that keeps moving. It just kind of like shows you where, where you are and what part of the song is playing. So I've turned up, ten, I've tapped the blue metronome triangular sound to, to, to get get rid of the clicking sound and you know I'm adjusting you know the you know from the back of the of the length of the song or the audio where where I want you know I'm kind of like selecting or you know trying to um, reduce you know just kind of like just working out where I want the song to start start and where I want it to end so from here onwards we click the inverted triangular sign at the top left of the layout screen to close the song and to rename the song so i'm renaming it wait for you to rename the file and set it as your ringtone hard press the wait for you clip it will provide you with both options so rename and set it as ringtone by clicking the ringtone tab and continue and click export and from here it's been successfully exported then we go back to our settings on our phone, go to ringtones and sounds and try to see if, if you know, we can find the wait for you that's just been exported. And that's it there. We found the wait for you. And, you know, it's just a question of, you know, when someone rings us, um, you know, um, wait for you stats to stats to play. Um, you can you can also set it as your you can you know create or you know audio files and set, set it as a ringtone for your text messages or voicemail and so on and so forth. OK. So if you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe and share. It helps the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you soon. Goodbye.